Hello, new topic today for our video series, wineries, specifically a few steps on how to start one. Starting a winery is a monumental task, but for our short blog, we broke it down into the three simple main categories. First up is the planning stage. You'll need to determine what grapes you'll grow and where you'll grow them. Winemaking grapes are notoriously particular, and some take many growing seasons to actually start producing usable fruit. For this reason, many wineries outsource at least a portion of their grape growing. If you plan on growing your own grapes at all, your land purchase will be your most expensive and important. Next, you'll have to figure out how you'll take care of the grapes themselves. Consider the climate to help determine your planting and harvesting times. Grapes don't just need perfect weather, they also love slopes and get longer hours of sunlight. Oh, and they also love a rocky, slightly acidic soil with a low nutrient level. Overall, have fun, they're super easy to please. You also have to figure out how many vines you want, as well as what type of varietals. Don't worry, if you're opening a winery in Italy, you only have 6,000 to choose from, so that should narrow it down for you. The last part of the business to think about is the winery itself. Market your product early and define your niche. Research local and state regulations to avoid a major headache down the road. This will also help you plan for distribution and for the winery itself. Most wineries are more than just a wine shop. You might have a bar, a retail space, and even a restaurant. And no matter how big you'll go, make sure you go with an all-in-one POS system. Corona's got you covered. Our point of sale can also integrate with your wine loyalty program, making your life easier so you can save your time and love for those precious little grapes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe to our blog and channel for more retail advice.